There are many bold claims about home remedy flea treatments for dogs, but do they work? Animal Wise finds out. Citrus. Fleas generally don't like citrus smell. It's for this reason some people use it as an insect repellent. There's a compound found in citrus known as limonene, a compound which is often extracted in essential oils. It's used in products like citronella to repel bugs such as mosquitoes. Some have tried using citrus infusions to act as an insecticide. Although it may work as a repellent in some cases, limonene is not an effective insecticide. The concentrations it would require to act as an effective flea repellent would be both irritating and toxic to the dog, and it wouldn't be useful in killing a flea infestation. Discover the most common smells a dog hates in the videos we share above. Vinegar. Although we find it appetizing for food, vinegar has a strong smell which can be unpleasant in large quantities. For this reason, it's often used as a home remedy repellent for various bugs. Some people will use it when bathing their dog as a way to kill fleas, adding it to shampoo, or sometimes even using it alone in dilution a couple of times a week. Some sources suggest using vinegar as a flea repellent. This is done by mixing a half cup of water with a half cup of apple cider vinegar and adding it to a spray bottle to spray both the dog and the home. As with citrus products, vinegar is not a good insecticide, especially when used in diluted quantities. If you spray it on your dog, it likely won't repel fleas, but it can be unpleasant for the dog's acute sense of smell. If you spray it on your home, you can also cause your carpets, upholsteries, and other fabrics to smell. The vinegar also won't add anything when used as a shampoo. We need to use appropriate dog shampoo which can wash out fleas, especially if it's medicated. Yeast. Brewer's yeast is also claimed to be an effective homemade flea killer. It's said to be effective when ingested by the dog or rubbing on their skin. There can be some health benefits when ingested as it is high in protein, but it also has some gastrointestinal risks, especially in gas formation. Scientific studies on its efficacy as a flea repellent are shown to be inconclusive at best, but mostly ineffective. Is this video useful to you? Remember, you can help the channel continue to grow with a super thanks. Rosemary or Lavender Flea collars and other products use odours to keep fleas from jumping onto your dog's coat. Many people don't like this because the insecticide can have an odour which is unpleasant to them, so they choose essential oils such as rosemary or lavender. These oils are not only ineffective, but they can agitate the dog due to their strong sense of smell. Essential oils would need to be of such concentrations to repel fleas, they can also irritate the skin of dogs. Even at high concentrations, there's little evidence to prove their efficacy. In addition, most current flea collars are designed to be well accepted by the dog. Chamomile Chamomile infusions are used as a panacea for many home remedies, but there's little to no evidence of an infusion eliminating fleas on dogs, and some evidence to show it can cause digestive problems in strong enough concentrations. Eucalyptus While there are some reports suggesting eucalyptus may have some antiseptic or even antibiotic effects, the majority are either inconclusive or see little of such efficacy. It's ineffective at keeping fleas away, especially as its essential oils can pose risks to a dog. If your dog has fleas, bathing them with a dog shampoo and deworming them after speaking to your vet is the best course of action. If you want to continue learning about health problems in dogs and how to treat them, don't miss the playlist we share here. Let us know if your dog has ever had a flea problem, and we'll see you next time.